Ladies and gentlemen, this is Joe's Classic Video Games. You can see all of our arcade games at lionsarcade.com. We are back with another video of a classic arcade game. Check this bad boy out. You don't see these too often. The big, huge games are harder to find anymore because they're so big. It was just really tempting for the operators to actually throw them in the trash. So this is Namco's Cyber Sled. This came out, I believe, in 1992, 1993. 1993, it says on the screen there. Um, and we have worked through this and fixed it all up. This was a really cool head-to-head -head tank battle game. Or they're kind of tanks. I guess they're Cyber Sleds, right? <laughs> um, really original game that came out back then with some really cool controls and a really cool cabinet. We got this one in, it was kinda, nothing was working on it. We got everything working on it, so. Well, most things working on it. There is one thing not working. Whoop. That we'll talk about here in a minute. Is this the original cabinet? I'll show you the side art. That little board doesn't go on there, down there at the bottom. If you find a, another one of these, it won't have that. I don't, somebody added that. But. Check out this little guy, the driver. Doesn't that look like Captain Commando from the Capcom games? If you've ever seen that game? Might be uh, the beginnings of a lawsuit there, just thought I'd say. This is the control panel. Of course, there's, there's two seats. There's a blue side and a red side. You can play it one player or two player. If you play two player, you can play against each other. And so this is your seat. There's no pedals, so the seat's not adjustable. You just sit in it. And here's your control panel. So you've got two uh, joysticks. You've got that viewpoint change button. And then each joystick has a missile button on the top and a trigger button on the front on both sides. Both of the missile buttons do the same thing and both of the trigger buttons do the same thing. So there's only one missile and one uh, one uh, gun on each sled, but it had really unique controls. It's kind of like a uh, like if you've ever uh, driven like a uh, uh, like a skid steer or something, you know, anything with independent tracks. So basically, if you put push both joysticks forward, your ship moves forward. If you push both back, you move backwards. If you push both to the left, you move to the left. If you push both to the right, you move to the right. If you push one forward and one backwards, you spin. If you push this one forward and this one backwards, you spin uh, that way. <laughs> and if you push like, you know, both back to the side, you move back and to the side. It's just, it's a really unique way of controlling. And you can see there, it's in a track right now. You can see that, uh, they're moving like that. You can basically move around anywhere, in any direction, at any time. Spin around however you want, move forward, move forward to the right. You can actually dodge the, the like if they shoot at you, you can go hard to the left, hard to the right. And so basically it's your one sled and you're fighting, uh, you get to pick one of six sleds and you're fighting against, you know, the opposing sled. So I think on some boards there's more than one though, but basically, and that's on like kind of the training, but uh, basically if you're playing head to head or if you're playing against the uh, computer, you're this guy and then the second player would be this guy over here and you're trying to find each other in an arena. It's kind of like the battle mode on uh, on uh, Mario Kart, where you hunt each other down and basically you try to blow the other tank up. So in the top corner of the screen, whatever it's you know actually playing, oh, and by the way, the attract music's on because you can't turn it off. There's no setting to turn off the attract music, so I've got it turned down a little bit. But um, in the top corner of the screen while you're playing, there's a shield, uh, hopefully they'll show it here and I can, show you that uh, I'm not crazy. Well, here's a little map that shows you. There's a little player shield on the top and then the enemy shield below it. 
tank so you can tell uh, how much damage you've taken and how much damage they've taken you're trying to blow their tank up by shooting them or hitting them with the missile and then you know you've got this little direction of enemy down at the bottom it shows special items display you can get extra missiles or shield power which gives you extra uh, shield life but the special items are uh, special shield or you can jam the enemy's radar or jam the enemy's missiles so that they don't work you can overheat your guns if you hold them too long um, and you guys basically got the little uh, is that called a reticulum? We was, we was trying that in another video. I couldn't remember what it's called, but the little reticule or whatever it's called, you put on uh, the enemy, and then whenever you've got them locked in, you can hit them with a missile. Um, the communications thing at the top. I don't see anything else that it shows. You've got radar, of course. Gameplay tips. Always keep enemy in view front. Use the slide feature. So basically, try to slide to the right or the left whenever they're shooting at you. Overuse of guns causes overheating. Keep moving. Don't be an easy target. Slide side to side to dodge enemy missiles. Warning, fighting too close can make you an easy target. So you see this guy's shucking and jiving over here. Check this out. All right. So that's basically what's going on. So you got the blue side, you got the red side, you got a cool sign up top. So we've got everything working on this, all the sounds, all the missiles, everything, all the lights, except for on the original game when it came out, if you look up in here above the monitor, that foreboding dark area there, there used to be a beacon, like a light that kind of sat up in here that spun around in a circle. Kind of like something you'd see on the top of like an F-14 pinball machine, if you've ever seen that, a revolving light. And it was red, and uh, there was one on each side. And I believe when it lit was if you got hit. So if you got shot, that your light would go off like this. Um, a lot of locations didn't like that feature because it, you know, it's kind of annoying. <laughs> I think it's cool. But, you know, it's a kind of a lot going on. Um, so they actually removed them from this cabinet. Some of the cabinets have had those removed just because, of, you know, it was a personal decision of the, uh, the location or whatever. If you listen really close. Hear that little click, click. There's a little relay in the bottom of the game that's turning that light on and off, even though it's not there. So it's trying to make it work, a poor thing. But that's the kind of thing that if you get a game and something like that's missing, it's going to be hard to track that down. So we got it working and everything's great. It just doesn't have the little beacon light that goes off if uh, if you get hit. Or I think it's if you get hit. If it's not, somebody reply to the video and uh, let us know what that light did. So there you go. That's Cyber Sled, Namco's Cyber Sled. I'll set up the tripod and show you what it's like. I'll play a little one-player game here and uh, show you how cool this game is. Be back in just a minute. All right, folks, I hope you don't mind the kind of weird angle. That's the only way that I can uh, figure out how to film it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn the volume up a little bit, and then I'll play through a, a round or two just so you can see how the gameplay was. Oh, by the way, this game was also released on the PS1, of course, too. But this is the cool, huge arcade game cabinet. Much better, right? Give it a little balloon. Here we go. Versus computer combat. Alan Stryker. Alan Stryker. All right, here we go. Shoot the missiles quickly. So you can see you can spin around like that. You can spin around like that. You can move like this. You can move backwards.
need some missiles, folks. There we go. That's how you do it, folks. Against the very easiest guy in the game. All right, so this guy's weapon is awesome. It shows like their little stats at the bottom. Slide the vehicle sideways to evade frontal attacks. Ready? Go! I think I might just wait for him, right? Come on, you sucker. <laughs> you lose. Going head to head with that guy might not have been the smartest idea. I got a, a rank of an F. Come on. Come on. I own the game. I own the game. They can't give me an F. Let's try it one more time. Hans Baird. Let's try this one. This is kind of cool. Hans Baird. Hans Baird. All right. Amanda Bates. So her weapon's decent, it looks like. Ready? Go! Fighter, this is the guy that got me last time. Look, his shield sucks though. Learn how to turn the vehicle. Fighting too close is dangerous. All right. Ready? Go! So trying to wait on the guy did not work well for me last time. I wonder if I can sneak up behind him. All right. I got my revenge. So this guy, his speed's awesome, but his weapon and his shield are horrible. Don't let the enemy get behind you, so he's going to try to sneak up on me, I guess. Still an F, folks. Ah, horrible. So anyway, there you go. Namco Cyber Sled. Really cool game. It was very popular in the arcade for just a little while. I don't know if they ever made a sequel to it or anything. Uh, it had such a unique control that you'd think that they would have uh, made a couple other games like that. Maybe they did, and I'm just ignorant of it, but... 
whenever we got this one in it was real exciting to work on it basically it had a lot of fans in it that uh, were burnt up and it had uh, bad power supplies both monitors needed to be rebuilt one monitor even had a bad tube had to swap that um, and uh, the controls are very original they have a whenever you whenever you push it forward and back there's a little potentiometer in there on like a ball it's a very weird assembly that turns and then there's another one over here that turns this way to tell if you're going left or right and there's lots of little adjustments and stuff that you have to make to the voltages and uh, you have to make sure that the pots work right and uh, there's some settings inside to, to adjust it and blah 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 and so after you mess with it a little bit you get it going good so we were able to uh, we had to replace one of the pots but we were able to get it working real so, so here it is it's a uh, it's a very large cabinet of course both seats removed and everything's on wheels so once you remove those seats you've got this huge back piece you can take the control panels off so it'll go through a regular door but those control panels are it's a big ordeal to take them off there's a bunch of bolts inside and everything so um, you're better off just rolling them through like a double wide door if you can help it but there you go that's Namco cyber sled thought we'd uh, shoot a quick video of it show you a little gameplay of game over 20 years old still doing its thing um, by the time you see this video, we may not have Cyber Sled in here anymore. It may have already went out to its new home. But maybe we'll have something else that you're interested in. So you can see all the games that we do have in right now at lionsarcade.com. Or you can stop by our shop and see them in person. We're in downtown Rock Hill, South Carolina, which is about 15 minutes south of Charlotte, North Carolina. And uh, stop in and say you saw us on YouTube or just check out the selection. We've got a building here just chock full of arcade games for sale. This is just one of the latest. But if you can't get by or maybe you're in France watching this video, that's cool. Just subscribe to us here on uh, YouTube. You can check out all of our videos of all of our games and uh, pretend you're here with us at least. So we'll see you next video. Thanks.